Well, daughter got a hold of uh, one of those bookends. So got some double bubble. We're gonna try mixing that up. Maybe some epoxy can can hold all this together and then uh, see if we can get this back to working order. I don't know how well it's gonna work with double bubble and ceramic, but we'll give it a go. See how it works. A tip of a Q-tip. I'm using that as my stir stick and I got all that mixed up. I'm gonna do this one piece, let it harden up real good and then add the other piece later after this is fully hard because it's gonna be too much to do all at once. Especially with this one being on the bottom corner and the other one being an upright piece. I'm trying to hold the camera and pay attention to what I'm doing at the same time is not an easy task. Be pretty generous. Most of it will squeeze out, but I want it to have as much contact surface as possible. And it'll go in afterwards and I'll just wipe up all the stuff that overflows. So let's put this piece on here. Make sure we're gonna do it the right way. Let's see, I'll do it with this hand. I'm gonna test that it fit in pretty good just by itself. Don't have this piece, unfortunately. But I think I should about do it. So we can clean up this mess here. Not too worried about the bottom other than where it'll be sitting. I'm pretty sure I can just take some acetone and and that should come off fairly easy. All right, we'll let that sit for a while. I would say 10 minutes should be good to go, but I'll let it sit for quite a while and let it really harden up before I try to do anything crazy with it. Well, I'm just choring and I thought I'd bring you along with me. This is my shit shovel for my dogs and I broke the handle off. Uh, not with shit, that would be a lot of shit. But uh, I've been using a spade shovel and that don't work very well. This, this square shovel works a whole lot better. So I'm gonna finish knocking this pin out and pull that wood out. And I'm just gonna use the same handles to make it shorter. Like I said, it's just for picking up doggy poo. But I've already ground that down and tried to punch it out. But <clears throat> the punch I was using wasn't quite getting it. So I'm gonna try something bigger in diameter. Really knock that pin through, but we'll get her. Not find my drift, but I'm gonna use the screwdriver that my grandpa turned into a scratch hole and turn it into a drift. Repurpose. Yeah, I know the light is dumb and that should be on a bench, but I'm in a temporary garage right now so I can get mine squared away. So I just zip this end off right here. And I don't know if this is gonna fit. I might have to split this to be able to get it in the handle, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's what I thought. This has got a pretty good taper on it. And this is quite a bit bigger, so I'm gonna get a rasp, shave that down, shape it up real good. We'll get it to fit. Looking for my rasp and I found my punch. Gosh darn it. The rasp was taking absolutely forever, so come on, Sam, get out of here. I ended up using a chisel. I just ended up turning it over and just shaving it down, whittling it away. Um, that worked pretty good, so now we gotta set it in there, drill the hole, put a new pin in, we'll be good to go. A professional, I'm not teaching you how to do it. I'm not doing nothing but fixing this shovel that I use to pick up poo. So this random nail that fits perfectly through there, cut a little bit off, heat it up with a torch and smack it down. It's gonna hold it in. There's no need to be perfect, like I said. It's my shovel and it's for picking up poo. What does it matter? Of course it isn't pretty, what'd you expect? Now it's pretty. Sorry about the hand in the way. Do that again. I said I didn't get hot enough, it just bent over on me. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, now the wife might wanna use it. 
All right, so that hardened up real good. Sorry about the dog noise. <clears throat> I never know when to shut the hell up. So we're gonna mix up some more epoxy because our old stuff is obviously gone rock hard. And we're gonna put on the back piece and be good to go after that. I don't have any enamel paint, but I think it'll be all right without paint. Well, there you have it. We got it all mixed up. So let's go ahead and generously apply our epoxy. Oh, and bums in my way. <laughs> oh, it was never really holding up a lot of weight before, but I have no reason to believe that this epoxy won't make it just as strong as it was before. And I promised that the, uh, this would work to my wife, so hopefully it does. This part is the one I'm worried about because it twists, the brick twists over. A lot of this is really just flat, nice smooth curve, but right there in that corner, it's pretty jagged and rough. And that break is really uneven, so hopefully the mating surfaces are in good contact and everything will be good to go. That's about good. Let's get to the piece over here. two hands to square that up, but I think it should turn out pretty good. Well, like I thought, that corner's the problem child. I built it up with a bunch more, dammed up some epoxy on there. Just moved out the back a little bit. Have to clean it up after it dries, but I think it'll be all right. I mean, it's better than it being broken and not having its match. The other one has got a giraffe on it, but I think that'll be all right. 